Um, my name's Ben Roberts. I'm part of Roberts uh, Brothers Farms. Um, we run about 3,100 acres in the Parowan Valley in Utah. We were running three of the, the one-ton balers. Um, and then after we got the first steamer, we went down to two of the, the newer three-quarter ton balers. Um, and it did help a lot of being able to put up, do more acreage as well as the fact that the baler would run quicker, that helped it as well. Anywhere from two weeks to three weeks to try and get it all down and back up when you went through the entire farm. And now we can get it to where ideal situation a week and a half to two weeks. Some of the aspects that were that beforehand that we knew about was obviously the fact that we could get more hours of bailing in. Even if we didn't bail all through the day, we could add about eight hours total a day that we could be bailing and we could get quite a bit more acreage up. Some of the other aspects was just the quality of the hay. It seemed to help keep the leaves on to raise the quality. The weight of the bales ended up being quite a bit more without added, any added moisture. And when we went through and looked at it, the leaf content was quite a bit higher because it wasn't knocking them off, uh, bailing them. Before, you were always worried if rain was going to be coming and it, not having enough time to get all your hay up. And now, it made it to where the baler is not your bottleneck anymore. It's made it to where your rakes and your cutting, you can't lay enough down and get enough raked to keep up with what the balers can do. It's definitely nice to not be able to have to bale all night and we can get a lot more done. It relieves the stress of cropping a lot more. In this valley, the main buyer, his truckers wanted to haul our hay over other hay because it actually, they could put more on weight wise without having to stack as many bales. And the, the hay overall, the buyers have been a lot more happy to this point with the hay that we've been producing with now than we were before. We've had a lot more of people wanting our hay versus other hay in the valley just because of the ease of being able to get more on the truck. After you go through it for a while and you kind of run through some of the basic things that will happen, it gets to where the, the ease of operation is, is very easy. But we have had extremely good service in terms of when we've had a problem we could call. I know that Dave, there's been times that I've called Dave in the middle of the night to tell him about a problem and he's just fine with that. I would say that it's, a, it's worth getting. I got my degree in economics and one thing that we noticed just this last spring in first crop, we went the entire crop and there was absolutely no dew naturally. And just in what we gained from using the dew machines versus using, trying to just find dew at night, we actually would have paid for the machine and the one crop all by itself. It's definitely changed how we, we go about our cropping. Um, we're able to put a lot more hay down and get a lot more put up. Um, and we aren't doing nearly as much of getting up at 2 in the morning or 1 in the morning to be able to go bail to catch the dew as much as we are bailing in the middle of the day or in the evening in the morning to get a lot more done. Um, it's made it to where we can cover several hundred acres in the evening but it's definitely been well worth the investment that we put into it. It's paid for itself many times over already.